you really killed it at, at the this, this second set. How, how? What was going through your mind? Honestly, I, I know that James Brown was a legend, and his music means so much to me. And uh, now that he's not here, I just wanted to carry on the legacy by going up there and singing one of his biggest hits. So um, I was thinking about James the whole time. Was it, was it hard for you just thinking about that, saying, I don't want to let James Brown down, and, and also your fans out there? Most definitely. I did not want to let him down because uh, he did that song so amazingly. It couldn't, be, couldn't have been done better by him, uh, by anyone. And um, me going up there, I was taking a big risk by doing that song, and um, I didn't want to let anybody down, so I just gave him all. So are you a bit scared now? I mean, it's a top four. I mean, what's going through your mind right now? Definitely scared because I don't want to get eliminated tomorrow because I want to do the home visit. And um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully America votes for me tonight and I can stay and then uh, go see my hometown. So what was the last thing you did before you went to sleep last night for this big day? The last thing I did before I went to sleep last night would probably have to be say a little prayer and then I turned on my Pandora and went to sleep. And what's on your Pandora right now? Uh, Jesse J radio station. Would you love to sing Jesse J if you could? My gosh, I wouldn't even try to sing Jesse J because you can't, you can't mock her, you can't sing her music. It's one of a kind, it's like Whitney Houston. You can't sing her music. If hopefully you're not, but if you were eliminated, what would be the first thing that you would do if you had if you had to go home? The first thing I would do if I was eliminated is I would show love to everyone that has been giving me the love and support and calling in voting. I would try to show as much love to them as I can.